was going to say today was what's already been said by a lot of you guys. Is that grandma was always grateful. To, I mean, I'm sorry, grateful. I was grateful. To, grandma, <laughs> grandma was always forgiven. Um, I was the quiet grandkid. When you had Ernie running what? around, oh. when you had Ernie running around claiming to be the best. Uh, <laughs> I was always the quiet one with the tape recorder sitting in the corner watching all my uncles and my father going nuts and my and my people Jenny going crazy and, and, and laughing and joking around. And I was th that's all that's the memories that I have joking around and laughing. And, but then then it was the bad times. Then it was you know going over on the weekends and, and hearing stories and you know. Seeing, seeing people in different conditions that I wasn't, you know, I wasn't expecting. And I never understood as a kid, but now I understand as an adult and as a, a father, I understand how important it is for forgiveness. And she, she forgave all the kids and she took care of all the kids. And that's a lesson that I learned um, at a young age. And I try my best to, to, to do that in my life every day. To forgive no matter what. Anyway, um, what I remember most about my grandma on my weekends at grandma's house, because we spent a lot of weekends at grandma's. Yes, we did. And then holidays at grandma's. <laughs> Christmas, oh God, Christmas, the smallest tree you've ever seen. <laughs> it was the smallest tree you've ever seen. But it was covered with like 60 gifts. And Grandma with that big hug, man, you know, you know, and then she would always call me Ernie. Ernie, Petey. <laughs> Ernie, Petey, Richie. Ernie, Petey, Richie. It always started Ernie. Ernie, Petey, Richie. Big hug and a kiss. And, and and it went on all the way to the end when I finally got a chance to, to show my children, my grandmother, and I, I have to say this out loud. My, my firstborn, Giovanna, she's not here, obviously. But she's, my grandma went into a nursing home every day, every single night when we do our prayers. She said a prayer for grandma every night. She only met her twice ever in her life. She met her twice. And every night it was, I pray for grandma who see that. <laughs> that she gets better and that she's happy. Every night she would say that. And then, Day she passed, we spoke to her, we explained it, and she, she stood back, she's like, oh my God. and she looked at me and she said, it's okay, Daddy, because I know she's, she's happy in heaven now, mm -hmm. and she's feeling so much better, she's not hurt anymore. That's what she said to me, and I'll never forget that. And tonight, she texted my wife just now on her <laughs> iPad, and she said, I pray for she said, um, she said, I love you, I love you, Grandma Kucha, um, R.I.P. She's just seven years old. She knows nothing. That got me. So anyway, let me just end this really quick. I'm sorry. Uh, I love you, Grandma. We all love you. And and I love my father. And I love my uncles and my, and my Didi. And all my uncles that passed as well. This is, damn, y'all could write a book with the trash and the laughter and all the stuff. Y'all should write a book. I'm serious. This family, this family's crazy. <laughs> I love everybody. I love my grandma. I miss her so much. I love